Hey guys, I'm Mezzi and welcome to this quick start guide for normal Razgeth the Storm Eater, the 8th and final boss in the Vault of the Incarnates. This is a 3 phase fight and it has a new intermission between each phase. The phases take place on different platforms. Both phase 1 and 3 take place on the central platform. From intermission 1 you'll have to split up the raid into two groups as the intermission will take place on both the west and east platforms. And lastly phase 2 and intermission 2 will take place on the northern platform. Some abilities will last throughout the entire encounter. You'll be taking AoE damage from electric scales, taking damage from the electric lash dot, and you should not be standing in the lightning strike swirls. Now on to phase 1. When you get the very big circle on you from a static charge, move away from the groove to the edge of the platform. You'll take a big hit of damage and leave behind a big puddle that slows you down. The entire raid will need to position themselves so that they have a puddle behind them. The boss will use Hurricane Wing to push everyone off of the platform. You can use the puddle to stop yourself from being thrown off the edge. When the boss turns around and casts Lightning Breath, move to the side so that you're not hit by the breath. The tanks will have to tank swap for the electrified jaws which not only puts dot on you but also increases your physical damage taken by 100%. Lastly for phase 1, spread out when everyone gets the smaller electric circles from volatile current. Ads will spawn that will deal damage, interrupt their cast or dispel their magic buff to get rid of the ads. When the boss reaches 65% health, you'll go into the first intermission phase and the boss will no longer take damage. Split the raid up into two groups and move to your side. You will be blown off the platform to your intermission platform. Razageth will be flying over the platform and breathing lightning devastation in a straight line. Of course, move out the line. While she's doing that, you have to kill groups of adds. Once the elemental shield is down, more will spawn. AoE them down and interrupt the Acolyte Stormbolts. Once you've killed all three groups, run into the teleporter to head to the northern platform for phase 2. The faster you clear this intermission, the more time you'll have in phase 2 to DPS Razageth. The second intermission, and thus the DPS raise of phase 3, will begin once the Vault Integrity bar reaches 0%. Phase 2 has some phase 1 abilities and some new ones. The small swirls, raid AoE damage, tank swap and adds all remain. The first new ability is Storm Surge. Razgath gets a big shield, starts dealing raid wide damage and gives everyone a plus or minus debuff. Everyone with a plus should stand together and everyone with a minus should stand together. As long as you're only standing with people with the same mark you'll get a 200% damage and healing increase. We set up two raid markers for people to easily group up. Plus debuffs went on square and minus debuffs went on cross. The second change is Tempest Wing. Razgeth will again damage and push everyone back, but this time you'll have to run to stay on the platform. The last change is now that the big lightning circles still need to run out and not let anyone be in their circle, but if they do hit anyone then those players will also get the big circle, so run out. Once the bar reaches 0% you go into the intermission phase and you'll stay on this platform. This intermission is quite simple. Just like the last intermission, don't get hit by the boss's breaths. To get out of this intermission, kill the big elemental. The elemental has two abilities. The first will teleport it to a random location and summon small adds. Slow, stun and kill these adds. Don't let them reach the big elemental or it will heal and buff it. And the second ability will shoot out balls of lightning that you'll need to dodge. Once it's dead, Razageth will get ready to knock everyone off of the platform. Run towards the phase 1 platform so that Razageth's wind will shoot you to the platform. Phase 3 is a combination of abilities you already know and love and two new ones. Phase 3 has the small lightning swirls, the raid AoE damage, the phase 2 pushback, the phase 2 big circles and the phase 1 turnaround lightning breath. Tanks and healers will be dealing with a new tank swap mechanic. Thunderous Blast will put debuffs on the tank. The first Thunderous Energy will explode after 1.5 seconds, dealing damage to the entire raid depending on how much damage it did to the tank. So use damage reduction cooldowns on the tank to reduce the amount of damage it will explode for. The second debuff is Thunderstruck Armor, which is a normal tank swap debuff. Lastly, the second new ability is Raging Storm. This soft and rage mechanic will cause the platform to slowly fill up with electric puddles. So the more damage you were able to do in Phase 2, the better your chances of beating the soft and rage in Phase 3. And that's all you need to know for Razgeth on Normal. If you liked this video, please like, subscribe and share it with others. I would very much appreciate it as it helps with the YouTube algorithm. You can also follow me on Twitter at wow underscore weekly and on Twitch at twitch.tv slash For now, I'm Mezzi and I'll see you again next time.